Brian is with us in Fort Myers, Florida. Hey, Brian, how are you? Good afternoon, Dave Ramsey. I'm doing great in yourself. Better than I deserve. How can we help today? Man, I love it when you say that. <laughs> Uh, I am in the construction industry. I am the general contractor and owner for Minneapolis. Uh, we currently have four employees. Last year, our revenue was $1.4 million. This year, we're headed to surpass $3 million. My question for you is, should I entertain partnering with investors? No. If I do, how should Why? I? <laughs> Why would you do that? Your business is exploding. I agree. Why would you bring it's in people? It's so tempting. Why would you, what? <laughs> What'd you say? I said it's so tempting. Tempting to do offered. what? What are you wanting to do that you can't do? Right. The whole concept of what we're doing, which is building small footprint homes, there's a lot of obstacles in the industry when it comes to zoning and building. And we need to be constantly have capital readily available. And when it comes to taking out loans to do developments or build these homes, it gets complicated. So having somebody who we, we have constant access to cash helps accomplish more of this business. So that's why I've entertained so, so that. So it, it, do, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't help. It hurts because you traded one complication for another. See, right. what we've discovered, Brian, in working with small businesses over the last... 20 years, tens of thousands of them, is the only ship won't sail as a partnership. And uh, people do this stuff, and sometimes they'll do it as a joint venture on a short-term basis, but where you bring someone in and they own part of your business in order to provide capital, when you have already gone from 1.4 to 3 million without them, you are destabilizing the business because everything that goes wrong in their life now goes wrong in yours. You just got married to a crazy family. That's what happens. And, um, and the only, you know, all you're seeing is, oh, I got some money. I didn't have money before. But with that money comes all of these entanglements and complications that make financing look easy. Um, so what I would be doing if I'm in your shoes is, is that I would be aggressively setting aside my huge profits. Way to go, stud. You're killing it. I'd be setting aside profits to grow the business with with cash and grow a little slower than you are dreaming of growing, not than you are growing. You're growing fast. So 100% of Ramsey from the card table in my living room 34 years ago to a $300 million business now has come from the profits we made here being put back in wisely, carefully, steadily, I've always wanted to and could do more than we had the money and the people to do. I've always right. had more ideas and than I had money. I've always had more opportunities than I had money. Crud, we get people out of debt. It's not like me and Jenny Craig and got a big job. You know, I mean, everybody's our customer, right? So, you know, you, you're, you, there's always more opportunity. But I've just said no. No, can't do that one. I'm going to select the good one. I'm going to take the good one. I'm going to take the good one. I'm going to take the good one. Take the one I got the cash to do. We're going to try that with cash. Oop, that didn't work, but I was cash, and so I'm not hurt. I don't know a bank, and I don't have a partner screaming because we lost money. I just, we made a mistake. We didn't do that one. Okay, we're going to do that one. Oh, that one made money. Look at that one. Go, here we go. And we put organic cash, meaning taking our profits and roll them in, profits and roll them in, and you need to divorce yourself gradually from even the bank where you start financing these things out of your own pocket. If you had five years from now and you were sitting on a million dollars cash and it was just a slush fund to buy with and, and then you replenish it out of the next deal and you keep your own cash position, you, you, you would be sitting and, and you don't need partners, gosh. No, please don't do partners. Please, 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 please. What this is is you're trying to go faster than you should and you're going to fall. You're going to stumble. You're going to trip. Um, and because people don't see the problems that you invite into your business when you bring other people uh, into ownership because you bring all of the negatives that they bring as well as their positives. All we see when we're talking about doing this is the positives. That's all we ever see. So, no, I, I, please don't do it. Just grow a little slower. You're doing so good. 
Don't mess this up. This is the Entree Leadership Podcast.